Hi guys, <laughs> guys, right for ever davislocal.com with my good pal, the newly crowned European Masters champion, uh, Jimmy Robertson, for a quick catch up after his uh, magnificent weekend. Jimbo, well done, pal. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, but European right. Masters champ, bro. Well yeah, done, bro. Yeah. Can't such believe a, it. Such a good feeling. It's unbelievable. Such a buzz and back to reality now. I think with with the tournament tomorrow, I play tomorrow at two thirty. So um, back to normal. Back to practice table yesterday. I was on and yeah. uh, Crawley next week. So back to normal. Back to normal. So tell us, pal, man. What was going through your mind, man? Putting those last few balls. Obviously, great century to win it. But I mean, there's a couple of turning points in that match when Perry came back at you and that man. What was going through your mind? Um, to be honest with you, just having the family out, having the kids and the missus and her mum and dad were over, my mate come over, he drove the minibus and drove them over there, so it was lovely having them all over there, watching, having me boy in the crowd, like watching, waving, like, it's, it just relaxed me massively, so as, as well as he come back, he played well in the evening session, Joey, he, he played pretty poor to be honest with you, the first yeah. first sort of session and, and I was five new, I was sitting there in my chair, I couldn't believe what was happening, so um it was it was such a great feeling sitting there seeing five nil five nil lead and <laughs> to get out five three I was a little bit disappointed to be yeah. honest like after being five nil <laughs> take that at the start of the start of the final then I'd have took that all day long so to take me mind off it I just sort of um, I spent a couple of hours with the kids took me mind off off it and and for the evening session started again I still got a two frame lead yeah and um, I think I nicked the frame to go six three. He made 56 in the next inning, and I cleared up with 75, so that was a massive frame. Yeah, massive. Um, massive frame, and then, yeah. then he started it, top four. Me, I don't think I scored a point for three frames. I think he made a couple of tons, 60, 70, um, 7, 6. But for some reason, I don't know why, I still felt calm inside, and uh, it was unreal. And, and I was just waiting for a chance because I, I didn't really get in. I weren't missing in them no, three frames, no. I didn't score a point. It was just. He was having me in all sorts and snookered and, and I just couldn't get a chance. And seven six, I got a chance. I was in on, I think I've made a decent 58 and ended up missing a red, I think, with 67 or 75 left on the table. Um, ended up getting over the line somehow in that frame. And then, now you're on the hill, and you? Yeah, eight six and one chance. It was nice, I parted a good long red in the last frame. Lovely feeling parting the last few balls with everyone there watching. and. Knowing that I won, it's just just the best feeling. No, I could imagine, man, and seeing obviously your girlfriend come down, little man come down as well, mate. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's so many people were so touched for you because like my phone was going crazy that Sunday night when you was when you was playing. Some of the the players on tour. I don't think there's been a more popular winner. I mean, I remember there was a lot of banter when Hamilton won yeah. his first one, but you're definitely one of the most popular winners, pal. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's most probably because first time winner and and it's sort of it's so out of the blue. My form this season is. I've not really done it. I've had such a bad start to the season, so I don't know really where this has come from, but practice-wise and little tournaments like at Coulsdon and, and the Dunstable Pro-Am and, yeah. and things, like I'm playing as well as I ever have played sometimes. So it's frustrating to, to be playing well in practice and, and in an M tournaments, knowing what you can do and, and never taking it out there when it matters. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's, it's such a relief to, to get that off me back and play some... <laughs> Decent snooker and, and win, win your first title. Now, hopefully, you can kick on. But Jimmy, it was such a strange event, man, because the things that happened and conspired in that event were unbelievable, pal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like, against McGill, you were nearly out. Against Zhang Yong, you were nearly out. And usually, the way you play, you're known as a heavy scorer. Everybody knows that about you on tour. I mean, your safety game sometimes is, is not what it should be, but yeah. your scoring is always on point. And this tournament, you didn't really particularly score no, well, did you? Not at all. It was I strange. Think the first, them first three games, I should have lost in the qualifier to Andy Lee. I yeah. 4 yeah. 3 on the pink. He missed. He missed the pink off the spot with pink and black left, so I should have been out there. Yeah. And then, um, no disrespect to the first round players, Yang Yong, but I should have had Williams. Yeah, yeah. And Williams pulls out, so that opened up a little bit more as well. Yeah. And then um, the first game was pretty poor by both of us, and it was just who could get over the line first, and that was on the black. And then Zhu Yu Long 4 3 on the re spot. It was a bit better that game. Um, the McGill game was was such a weird, strange game. Strange game, mate. I couldn't believe the green he's and, missed. Uh, yeah, he's missed the green, he's missed the brown, he's missed he's missed the pink. Um, pretty much all match balls. Um, and even in the decider, he's he's clear enough. He's got the balls on the spots, and he's just come the wrong angle on the pink, and he's dropped the pink in, left a high black, and missed the black off the spot, and left it over the pocket. <laughs> and, and it's just crazy. I couldn't believe what was happening. And and after getting through that, then everyone's obviously talking. Is his his name on the trophy all of a sudden you're just laughing because 
you've never gone deep in a tournament before and, and I weren't expecting too much but it's, it's crazy what was happening so to, to come out of that and I was so confident from, from quarters onwards it was yeah. weird so weird I was just going to touch on that Jim because how calm you looked out there because that's another thing that you've suffered with over the years yeah. well, a little bit of nerves on, especially on TV and, that, and playing big matches because you had quite a long run didn't you before you actually won a match on TV yeah. but you look so relaxed and calm out there no, I don't know what it was because the first the first three games that weren't on the TV, I felt quite nervous to be honest with you. So I don't know what it was. Obviously, I've been working with Martin Perry for nearly two seasons now, yeah. so he's definitely helped me, um, kept me calmer on the big matches, big big stage. Now I feel a lot, but I think it's just the way that their matches went, and I should have been out so many times. Yeah, I think I just relaxed after that because I was sort of free rolling and and. Uh, Played some decent stuff against Mark Allen. He's a top top player. So yeah. to get a, a result against him on the on the main TV one table setup was was lovely and a bit of confidence that I needed. So a bit of belief, like self belief that I've been struggling with. Yeah. Because until you actually do it, you you sort of all mouth and you and, and talking what you can do until you actually <laughs> do it. It's it's no good saying it, is it? So. But now I've done it, hopefully I can get confident and, yeah. and crack on. Well, Jim, I just want to give you a chance to obviously thank some people near you. Obviously, you're your old man and that. And I know what an influence he's had on your career, the abuse he's given you over the years. Because yeah. I've actually known actually known Jimmy since he was nine years old. And I, and I know winning this tournament, Jim, just, just what it means to you. But just tell the guys out there exactly what this means to you, Jim, actually winning your first um, tournament, mate. Yeah, no, it means look, everything. Of course it does. It's, it's what I've dreamed of as, as a kid and taken out of the game. I've been dedicated and sacrificed quite a lot of things. Like all the boys are... I'm an early age, I'm off playing football, going out all the time and, and I'm practicing or going to tournaments. So I left school at the start of year 11 as well. My, my parents sort of agreed to it, so I had to have a few rules and, and yeah. practice properly. And, and uh, they've been so supportive through my whole snooker career so far and taking me up and down the country, supporting me financially. So massive thanks and credit goes to me, mum and dad. I wouldn't be playing, to be honest with you, even right this second yeah. if it weren't for them. Um, financially helping me out because at the end of the day you need to pay the bills and, and pay for your family and, and your kids and and everything that goes with it so um, massive credit goes to them it took a massive weight off my shoulders this, this season so far because I've had such a poor start not earning no money so uh, he's helped me so far this season and just relaxes you a lot more but I know also you're waiting for me to thank you as no well. you don't need to thank me mate <laughs> You don't need to thank me, there's, uh, there's, there's loads of people through through my junior days and through my career so far that, that yeah, we want we want to all had to put up with you, Jim. Yeah, that, that need mention. There's too many to mention. I've had sponsors, obviously. Um, the first ones from Eastbourne, Tony Thompson from Coulston. Um You you got me a couple of dinners every now and then and picked some balls out for me, I suppose, <laughs> and supported me. But no, it, there's been yeah. quite a few. There's been even me logos that I, I wore in the final and actually. Like he's, I used to practice for him years ago, and just there's so much support like back home, all the messages that I was getting, and it's just it's, it's nice reading it. And but now, to be honest with you, it's, it's, I just want to get back to normal. To be yeah. honest with you now, so um, it's lovely at the time going through it and knowing that everyone's generally happy and proud. And um, no, it's just such a relief to win the title and days and now crack on with the next tournament. Absolutely, partner. Jim, I know you're an ambassador for our TSF tip bar, um, which is obviously a great thing for us, but tell us a little bit about how that's helped your game as well, especially with the scoring, scoring department of your game. It's, it's awful. If anyone's watching this, don't use it. <laughs> um, no, look, I, when I was with, with you boys uh, last season or season before, I started using it. Tony asked if I could try it and I tried it and, and I liked it. I found it pretty similar to Teddy Elkmaster anyway, so I'm not one for changing things, you know. I'm not yeah. one for trying new things if, if something ain't broken. And there was nothing wrong with the tip before, but I tried this one and I liked it. So I've had it on now for, what is it, three seasons maybe? Yeah. So two and a half, three seasons. So I like it. I, I, I can't really tell you too much about it because I'm not one to know too much about your cues and tips and yeah. specs of things. But also I know is that it plays quite similar for me to the, to the Elk Master and I've got a medium TSF tip. And uh, no, I just I'll still be using it, yeah. Good man. So Jim Knight said, now busy period of the season really approaching us now. It's about six or seven tournaments for the next couple of months. That'll probably help you now not to think too much about the European Masters and actually, like yeah. you said, just crack on and get on with things now. You know, it's it's a good time to have won a tournament now because now it's so busy. There's tournament after tournament. <laughs> with the confidence and the belief now, I'm not going to get carried away, of course I'm not. But hopefully, with the confidence at, at this second, hopefully I can qualify for this tomorrow. And then have a little run in um, 
Crawley, that's local. Yep. And then I think we got Ireland, the UK Championships, Scotland. Scotland, German, German Master, Master, there's so much going on, isn't there? Now Champions of Champions as well. Oh, I'm in that. So, um, <laughs> no, look, it's, it's, it's lovely having time. Look, this is what I like, and this is what, what I play snooker for, and I like it busy, to be honest with you. It's nice to have nice breaks and gaps, and I would have liked the little break after just winning this to celebrate a little Was bit. Was that more, due to all the alcohol that went down your neck when you wanted, <laughs> no, no, mate? No, 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 but it's, <laughs> it's just been nice to actually sit back and chill out, spend a bit of family time. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm away so much at the minute, which is it's what needs to be done. Like obviously, the tour's busy. We'd all be moaning if, if the tour weren't busy. So, But me boy's not taking it too well at the minute. Like me girl don't, she don't understand too much at the minute. But Frankie sort of, uh, being away, I think I've only been home less than a week in, in out of four weeks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, with China and Thailand and, and this one just now, and now we're away here in Crawley. So it affects him at the minute. He's at that age, but hopefully in, in years to come, he'll understand what I was doing it all for. Absolutely. And, and it's times like Sunday, Jim, that make it all worth it. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you sacrifice so much time away from your family, away from your friends, and just general day to day life. But when you have yeah. moments like Sunday, it makes it all that, all that more special, no, isn't it? That's exactly what Amy was saying to me. She was, it's basically. Being away, like obviously the kids, the kids are the one that seem to suffer the most because yeah. I'm not about for them at the minute. But at the end of the day, I'm doing this for them. Yeah. And and obviously, the more tournaments I play, and the more chance you've got in in winning a few quid, and and they'll be better off in their lifetime as well. So it's nice to be rewarded finally because keep doing this and going away for so <laughs> long and not winning no money, and, yeah. and they don't see like obviously it's all hard work and it's hard for them sort of being stuck at home while I'm away all the time and yeah. coming home with no money so um, it's lovely to get this win get a nice check and, and now hopefully I can push on a bit now and like you said it was strange the way it's come because like this tournament was your second ever career quarter final like you said you've, you've probably underachieved over the years because like you said, you've always been a super talented player but then just to go straight into your first final and obviously yeah. just win your event yeah. it's just crazy man it is like, I don't know where it come from it's just, it was just so out of the blue to be honest with you but People back home will be saying that it was it was a matter of time because yeah, absolutely. Of, of what they know, what you're capable of doing. But obviously, like I was saying, there's been no sort of form out there on the on the main match table whatsoever, really. <laughs> so um, it's out of the blue. But then I've always said, once you get on a on, on a bit of a run, yeah. the confidence just builds, doesn't it? And then you know what you're capable of doing. So it's just nice to, to it's just a relief, I suppose, and excitement and everything. Yeah, just to get the win, get it done, and, yeah. then, and then hopefully, look, we'll see what happens, I ain't going to get carried away, but we'll see what happens from now on, yeah. Could be one of many, son, who knows, who knows? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Right, guys, look, I'm going to let Jimmy shoot off because he's got to practice shortly, um, but uh, Jim, look, we're so proud of you, especially us, yes. all us locked down the calls, and obviously Bexhill and all, all the people around you, tremendous achievement last week, Sunday, pal, and uh, Jim, nice one. the new European Masters <laughs> champion, mate, well done, yeah, son. Yeah, stop it, cheers. Cheers, cheers mate.